here inside of Premiere Pro, I have a very simple sequence going on. It's made up of just a series of clips with a crossfade going on between them. Let's see if we can't dress this up a little bit. Okay, I'll just press my spacebar to stop that playing through. So, what if we make all of this black and white? Well, let's select my first clip just here. You can see the effect controls panel springs to life. We'll need that in just a moment. And here's my project panel just here. I'm going to hit the double arrows just there and go and find the effects panel just here. To make something black and white, I'm thinking the lumetry effect will do nicely. So under video effects, under color correction, if we come down to lumetry color, there it is just there. Now with my clip selector just here, I can drag up lumetry color and apply it to that clip. So there's lumetry color just there. Now I'm going to open up basic correction and then come down to the saturation and just bring that all the way down to zero. Now we can have the debate about the best way to make a black and white another time, guys. Let's just keep this nice and simple for today. So you can see this clip just here has indeed become black and white just out here. If I tap my spacebar to play through here, you can see as soon as it gets to the next clip, we are now back into color. So let's say I really like this black and white look. The problem is I don't want to have to systematically apply it to every single clip in our sequence. That would be very time consuming and a painful experience. So what we would like to do is apply a single thing to our sequence and then apply those effects to that thing. And in this case, that thing is an adjustment layer. So let's go back and find our project panel just here. So we want to add an adjustment layer just inside of here and then drop that onto our sequence out here. So there's a few different places we can add that. File, new, adjustment layer, that's one place. Another place is if we right mouse click within the project panel itself, we can choose new item, adjustment layer. So I'm going to do that just now. And it's defaulting to the sequence settings, which is perfect, I'll just choose okay. And having chosen okay, we can now see our adjustment layer just here. So please appreciate guys, the adjustment layer, when we drag this in, which I'll do just now, the adjustment layer itself doesn't actually have any visual appearance itself. It's just fantastic for holding other things like effects. Actually, one thing I neglected to do guys, if I click on this clip just here, you can see I still have lumetry color applied to it. So I'm just going to select it and press the delete key just now. So aside from the adjustment layer being added just here, we are now back where we started. Okay, so I've added the adjustment layer just here. Let's now add the effect to it. So let's go and find our effects panel just there. There's lumetry color just there. I'll drag that up, open up basic correction, come down to saturation, drag that down to zero. Fantastic, so let's now press my spacebar to play through just here and check it out. The first clip was black and white. The second clip currently is black and white. Third one, black and white, fantastic. And then all of a sudden we're back into color. What's going on? Well, it's pretty obvious what's going on. You've probably worked it out. It's just that the adjustment layer is only extending as far as partway through the third clip just here. So all we have to do is grab the end of the adjustment layer and drag that out to wherever we want. And now that it covers all of our clips, if I continue to play through, you can see all of the other clips are now also in black and white. Fantastic. Actually, let's step this up a notch, guys, because I'd like to show you the adjustment layer just here. I have it selected. And up here in our effects control panel just here, you can see there's the lumetry color effect just there. I'd like to show you this thing, the adjustment layer, can actually hold multiple effects. So here in our effects panel just here, up the top just here, I'm going to type in crop and drag the crop effect just up here. And where it says top, I'm going to change that to 10%. And you can see when I do that, we get this nice black bar appearing across the top just here. I'm going to do the same 10% for the bottom value. So we now have black bars top and bottom. And if I now press the space bar to play through, check it out. We've now got our entire sequence in not only black and white, but it also has the black bars top and bottom. And just for a laugh, guys, let's add a vignette. So there's our lumetry color effect. I'll open that up again. There is just down here a vignette section. I'm going to drag the amount all the way to the left. We now have across our entire sequence a black and white look with a vignette and those black bars top and bottom. 
And those effects guys can still easily be edited after the fact as well. So if I scroll to the top just here, luminary color, let's say I want to turn that off. Just hit the FX icon. Everything is now back in color. If I turn that back on and turn off the crop, we now lose the black bars, top and bottom like so. You get the idea. So adjustment layers, guys, are fantastic for holding effects. You can easily turn those effects on and off, edit them after the fact, and stretch out your adjustment layer to be as wide or as narrow as you like, covering as many clips below it as you like. So I might wrap things up just there, guys. I hope that helps with your editing here inside of Premiere Pro. Catch you later.